What's up, guys? Back at it again. Anime and beer. Will we drink beer? Get weird? No. Will we talk about the latest manga, comics, anime, you name it. So crack open a cold one. Let's dive in, shall we? For satisfaction. I'm trying to make a. I'm trying to make a glass sound. I'm telling you, bro. we have we haven't really done a podcast style in a while, like where it was just audio. And I think we need to take advantage of some of this equipment. And, uh, you know, we're kind of delayed on some manga. We're kind of delayed on some content to really put out there, man. But we, we've been doing this for just a little over a year now, man. We, we haven't celebrated a year of anime and beer. Oh, jeez. Yeah, dude. We, we haven't. haven't. We haven't, bro. We've been going at it since the pandemic. Yeah, since lockdown, bro. Matter of fact, pandemic is when we really started popping. Yep. I mean, we did a few videos here and yep. there. Yeah. Like, I think back in 2016... Back yeah, when, when you we lived with we Craig, were, when we were kicking comics, but yeah, like kicking yeah. comics, yeah. which I still say was a good name, but yeah, yeah, for sure, anime for sure. and beer definitely m- f- suited more at with it, what it we were doing. It what we were doing. It, yeah. it, it definitely is super cool. And I mean, shout out to all the guys again. You know, the Weaver brothers. Um, I might bring kicking comics back. It, it's all good. It's a good it, anime and beer with the segment with yeah. the segment, with the segment, segment kicking, kicking comics. comics. <laughs> Uh, manga madness. I don't know. We can we can name it whatever, bro. We have we have a whole bunch of things we can work with now. I mean, definitely our manga and anime reviews. Some of our best work yet um, was definitely two of our most viewed videos. Is uh, our Digimon episode one video? And um, shout out to Seth. Thank, thanks again. That's still our most viewed video today. And then uh, shout out to Robert, our My Hero Academia manga chapter review spoiler um, review of. Uh, Reveal of Toya Todoroki, aka Dobby. I mean, those are our best videos, man. I mean, a I guess year they're growing. Review. I mean, dude, we're still. While growing. you're talking, let's go back and look at those numbers. Let's go back and look at those. Yeah, numbers, just for, just for nostalgic reasons. Exactly, yes. and, and shout out and shout out to Alexander Black, dude. This logo on the screen here, man. I can't give this guy enough credit. Like, this guy just. I met him waiting tables, and he made a whole logo for our show, and. I, this is going on a t-shirt. I mean, like all proceeds to Alexander Black. I'm just saying, like if we make it big, we gotta we gotta slide him some change. We yeah, gotta slide him some change for sure. Yeah. Uh, remember when I told you we were talking about Black Widow? You looked at me like, you still keep up with them? No disrespect, Alexander. Just you yeah, know, yeah, 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 it's yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't it, it's, 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 it's it's normally me. Kwanzi, who 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 you're speaking with? So anything that you ask concerning both of us, like I'll quickly like text him, text Garrett, and then like say what I have to say, and then I'll tell you what his response was. Exactly. But it's, it's usually me that you're talking to. Uh, but yeah, yeah, man, I I talk to him every once in a while yeah, about what's out, going shout on. Out to him, dude. I mean, like, and and, and really like because if you guys obviously you've watched our content before, if you're just tuning in. I have anime tattoos, so a big thing that gets pointed out is the Dragon Ball on my forearm. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, yeah, like Jeez, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> it was my day off from work, so I, I get pointed out a lot from the Dragon Ball on my forearm. So um, it's a it's a conversation starter, and really, I mean, just a year in review, man. We we went through the pandemic. We filmed content. We got we got guys and girls from all over liking and subscribing it and supporting our content which is super 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 cool and we want to give a huge shout out to that i mean we're we're coming up we're, we're chipping away slowly but surely i mean we both work full time um mr maple's married i'm not and you know just balancing life and adulting and trying to come up with content for this channel unfortunately you know as you guys can see we're taking a little break um just giving a podcast style today and letting you guys know what we're what we got coming up we have no content because a lot of manga is on hold a lot of anime is on hold but hey man i mean dragon ball super man dragon ball super the new movie superhero what do you feel about that bro i mean there's still stuff to talk about we can still i mean that vegeta content we put out last week i don't care what anybody says like that was some of our that's dude vegeta I mean, we got a lot of Dragon Ball Super Trail blazing right now, man. What do you what do you feel about the uh, Dragon Ball Super trailer that came out? Oh, jeez, I actually have not seen the trailer. You haven't. Um, you haven't. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But go ahead. Like, uh, it was announced. It was announced. Just the stuff that I've seen and read. Um, some positive, some negative. It's all good. Uh, just to get on the sidetrack for a moment, I'm gonna get back to that. But 
just 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 on on the on the talk of positive and negative uh, feedback. And I'm just gonna say this. I'm not expecting a response. We'll get into it. So you can ask later. Why later? But it's getting to the point now where I'm just about to isolate myself, going to exile from just the comic community and the anime community. What? But, Why? Hold on. We gotta dive. We gotta dive into that. We gotta dive into that. What are you talking about? It's it just talk. No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's it's not that it's toxic. It's just so it's toxic. Yes, yeah, toxic. <laughs> Four fours and four sixes. I don't know trite lingo, but I just heard those numbers before. We, we, we're talking we're about Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. You know, where's our where's our left hand <laughs> physicist? Where's our physicist at? Like, come on, comment. We, we're guys. talking we about you, strictly right speed. Come on. Is Superman stronger than Flash? Yeah, Duh. Well, but he also has in tune with the power force, which is a whole another topic. There's the slow force, the power force, the speed force. Is there a love force too, or something like that? I can't remember. Like, there's like an emotional spectrum. There's like, there's like a different the Green Lantern. Yeah. Uh, okay, so like an emotion force per se. I don't. I'm not. I'm not the comic book guy. That's where I come to you on that. I mean, like, is there? If there was mentioning of one, if there is I mean, one, if there is one, then it would be the the pink. Uh, Okay, but like I'm saying, like overall, not pink, but overall, violet. overall, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is like overall, like um, emotional force, like the force, like is is would you say is like okay, all right, because I don't know, I the, don't know. The violet Lantern Tribe will probably be the closest we get to. The I love, I love how, I love how we went from Dragon Ball superhero the movie uh, trailer. Well, I had to get that point across. I told you to wait, but you don't listen. But yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the Dragon Ball Super trailer. Um, Kwan's going to beat my ass after the show, guys. I just saw the announcement. and uh, you, want, from, you want me to tell you? Do you, you want me to tell you? Yeah, I mean, go for it. Um, so spoilers ahead, guys, if you haven't seen um, anything about it. But uh, there is a time skip. We get preschool Pan. So we're looking at about a, four, a three- to four-year-old Pan, which means we're going to get preteen or teenage Trunks and Goten. Um... 
we got uh, we got character art. Looked like some uh, a one and a two, literally a one and a two, written on some guys that are that are aliens that are coming to planet Earth. Um, and our guys in the group chat, feel free to comment on this video as well. Uh, shout out to Justin. Shout, shout out to Justin Weaver for, for keeping up with our channel and, and showing some love and giving us constructive criticism and making sure we put out some solid content, you know, for, for all the viewers, for all the backgrounds, for everybody who, who loves anything nerdum. But, like, he, he pointed it out, too. It's just we, we were talking about in the chat the other day. And the, the oob factor is still on the table. The oob factor is still on the table. And and I think Toriyama, this is Toriyama's way of ending Dragon Ball Z slash Super, I think, is this movie. Is what I'm speculating. This is, this is my prediction. I'm saying it here first, guys. Anime and beer. I think this is his way to close the chapter of Son Goku. Hmm, kind of like a... Passing the torch, next gen. Man, if I see a Dragon Ball Z next generation, I will flip my lid. Well, we don't want to see that. We just want to see maybe, closure. Maybe, maybe Dragon Ball, the new story, or something look, like that. Look, no, see, okay. see. All right, go ahead. Go I'm ahead. about to trigger a lot of people. Oh lord, Here I don't go. care he's because on one. he's on one. This is our he's show. On, he's on. He's on Gosling's Black Seal Bermuda Black Rum. This looks tasty. Can I try some? Try it. Okay, I'm a waterfall. Continue your story. Can I drink out the bottle? Why are you being can weird? I drink, can I drink out the bottle? Yeah. <laughs> I'm on no COVID still a thing. Go ahead. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> but uh, That's the lich. That is the lich, guys. So, this is what I think. Dragon Ball should just end. I agree. You don't know what you're talking about. You, need, you don't deserve to do a podcast. You need, this is fake. Um, That's my imitation of... uh of Haters? Haters. Yeah. <laughs> This is and this is my little uh, kind of like my 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 what I would like to see Dragon Ball in okay because we don't need another One Piece we really don't so sorry Matt although Goldie Rogers backstory would be dope to watch it would be it's getting close yeah, yeah. if it's not already there um which I think it, it I mean you got a little glimpse and uh so sorry, anyway sorry, sorry my ADHD <laughs> kicks in Go ahead. so. Vegeta becomes God of Destruction. Spoilers. Goku does not become an angel. I want everybody to get that out of their head. You've been saying heavy about that. You've been. We both agreed on that a long time ago. I will. I will hop on with you with that. He. He's not going to be an angel. There's just no way. And for the simple fact, for the simple fact, you know why he's not going to become an angel? Because he's Goku. Goku has a family. This man got a whole wife and two kids. Yeah, and a granddaughter. But he wasn't... Okay, so... so He's so, going to hit... Let me finish. Let me right, finish. Right, okay. He's going to hit a revelation. Okay. Will he be offered it? Yeah. Absolutely. If I think, I, already I, been. I think it's going to come to the point where it's just going to be like, hey, Grand Peace, you become an angel. Well, he doesn't really fit the criteria, which I discussed before, the mm -hmm. criteria of an angel, because they all look the same. Yes, yes, yes. They're going to say, well, Goku, he shows... He's shown a lot of, a lot of, you know... Of what of what we have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goku is going to consider it, but then he's going to realize, like, bro, I have a whole family. Now we all know Goku never really cared about his family to begin with, but I feel like Toriyama is going to give him some type of he has to give him some type of closure. The the show can't end with this man just being a fighter, well, which he can, but again this is just what what i want and and you 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 present a solid statement there's it, nothing wrong it, with that it's, it's there's gonna, nothing wrong with that there's a solid statement but you're right we need closure it's not going to end er, the way er, i don't think anybody's going to die vegeta's going to be god of destruction vegeta goku's going to be a family man gohan is going to be a scholar trunks and goten and and gohan's going to be the new piccolo Gohan's yeah. going to be the new Piccolo, and basically what I mean by that is just kind of the solid staple, the solid glue that kind of mentors the up-and-comers. Exactly. I think Piccolo was originally was intent to be Goku's villain all the way back from Dragon Ball, but if you look at it, Piccolo was the mentor. Piccolo was the guy that everybody was like, he, they mentored, like even even in the movies, even in the, the anime, the manga, Piccolo was that guy that everybody was just kind of like, hey Piccolo, what do we do? This is what we need to do. And I think Gohan is the predecessor of that. I think everybody, I think Gohan is going to be that knowledgeable guy that everyone goes to like, hey, you have to do this and do it right. Do not be prideful. Do not be mischievous. Do not be this, that, and the third because I was that dude once. 
and I think that's Gohan's role. Um, Oob definitely is going to be the forefront. I think also, too, you know, with everything going on in the world, I'm just kind of speculating it. Having a colored person being a, a main protagonist in an anime would be groundbreaking, great market. Um, and Oob is, well, Oob, the reincarnation of Kid Buu. It'd be super dope to, to market that. You have Bola and Pan, so we're going to get the female Super Saiyan fusion we always wanted. We're going to get Teenage Gotenks. Come on. Who doesn't want to see that? Who doesn't want to see that? which in return, they're going to teach their sister slash niece the fusion technique. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of story behind this right now. There's a lot of things they can do with it in the future aspects of things. And we're all going to, especially with a lot of the hate Goku got in Dragon Ball Super, a lot of people are really, really upset with Goku and Dragon well, Ball Tori, Super. Well, Toriyama was disappointed with the show because that's not how he originally created Goku. They have Goku created ads. And these aren't, these aren't, from what I read, Mm -hmm. I, I'm I going to go by what I read. I mean, I didn't go and look for Toriyama's words personally, but you know, um, from what I saw on TikTok, which it was in caption, so that's why I said read. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Goku wasn't supposed to be this, you know, like sensitive, happy-go-lucky guy. Just he was supposed to be a guy who just looking for a challenge. Which, and the and reason see, why like I want yeah. closure is it's going to be a point when there's no one else to fight. The reason I'm giving Go Vegeta God of the you know God of Destruction is because that's just who Vegeta is. Vegeta needs it, and I and I gotta give a sh huge shout out to his his uh, his executive Toyo Toyo, who who really who really has been writing Vegeta in so well, and it's like we talked about before. Super is Vegeta's story, man. He's becoming a mentor. He's coming. He's becoming more charismatic. He's become more compassionate. Um, and he, he got all this power on his own. There is no, there is no if, ands, or buts about it, which is super, super cool. Um, with the future of Dragon Ball, I don't know, but I think it, I think Dragon Ball needs a fresh start, man. I think it needs to be that, that GT-esque, but not with the random story play. I mean, you toss out Goten and Gohan, you give us Trunks. Trunks already has a huge following. You give us Pan, who is already a preteen, and then you give us a kid Goku, who turns into Super Saiyan 4. I mean, there was a lot of... Uh, uh, there's plot holes regardless. But I think my biggest issue with GT was GT was just there. It wasn't that it, ha it had a great storyline. It was just there. And don't get me wrong, it had great ideas. Like Super Saiyan 4, I remember I remember getting spoilers like at the at the at the um, book fair when I was a kid and like it was like the first touch of like manga or like Japanese culture coming into the cult coming into the country and I remember seeing Super Saiyan 4 for the first time in a magazine a Dragon Ball Z magazine that was unofficial slash official and I was like what Super Saiyan 4 and then come to find out it was true this is before like YouTube or like mm -hmm. Google got big you know so like you found out about it and you were like this is bullshit this is nothing. This isn't anything at all. It's funny you say that because my first hint of I will watch I watch the show every mm -hmm. so often. Mm -hmm. uh, and you probably thinking, oh, you doing what Dragon Balls you growing up? I did. But you know, I'm sorry, you know, it had the same, you know, channel block as Full House and stuff, you know. <laughs> all that time I'm like, wrong. Ooh, Full wrong. House. I'm watching Full House. You're Dragon Ball Z, Full House. I don't watch Full House. But, but I digress. But, you know. Fa family time or like watching stuff blow up in cartoon animated style. Oh, I'm going to watch Family Values. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm chuckle before I go to bed. Um, but, uh, my first, honestly, my first manga. Was a Shonen Jump. The weekly Shonen Jumps, right? Yep, and I got it from a gas station. This was oh. like the only gas station in close proximity to me, like in within my town. Mm -hmm. But he will only order like one whenever they drop, like once a week or once a month. Whenever they came out, he will only order one. I remember this. And actually, he, he was like, "Yeah, I'll keep ordering." Like now, that I see that you're buying. I'm like, "I'll keep ordering this one." You know, as long as you come back and buy it. I'm like, yeah, I always come back and buy it. So Yo. then eventually, like, I stopped going, so he stopped. Eh, not really getting in all that. Because uh, I, don't, I don't even remember why he stopped buying I know I stopped going, but I'm not going to say that's the reason why, like, I stopped getting them. Um, 
but that that those few I did got the very first one I got was actually the debut of One Piece. Okay. So I remember reading the the first few chapters of One Piece. Okay. That one also had uh chapter zero of Yu Gi Oh. Uh, what else did it have in it? It had Dragon Ball Z, but it was the Trunks versus Frieza. I remember that one. I think Mecha Frieza. It was the one where he yeah, yeah, he was yeah. already he when already he got first, chopped when up. First, when he first got introduced, basically Trunks when he first got introduced. Yeah. So uh, so I'm, so it's like the epic the the iconic Trunks slashing Frieza in yeah. half, and then doing like the tribe right, beam. Yeah. Which I got into arguments with people all the time. I'm like, yeah, Trunks did the tribe beam, like. Trunks never did the tri beam. That was T, and I'm like, no, Trunks did the tri beam. I, I have, he, I had the he manga. Named it, he named it Burning Attack. Yeah, like I had the manga to show them. Like, no, you're lying. That's Tien's move. Tien does the tri beam. I'm like, no, Trunks did this, and he did. Like, like no, like for the longest time, like nobody believed me because, as well, you, you know, wanna, mangas are actually, actually like ahead of the TV show. So I'm describing something well, that get, wasn't gotta, seen yet. Yeah, you gotta get, uh, you gotta get your content from somewhere. Well, even then, I mean, if you want to argue it, uh, Piccolo's Hell Zone grenade, where he where he kind of makes the O, but he makes a triangle, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like he shoots it out too. He like kind of roars into it, but um, yeah, man. I mean, I, I'm I'm curious to see what Dragon Ball has to bring us. I mean, nobody expected Broly, so I mean, it looks like the Oob theory is coming into play, um, unless they make something. Uh, happen with 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 what we talked about recently with with vegeta and goku um becoming deities like full-on deities uh i guess you know like another thing i, I kind of want to talk about did you see uh did you see uh naruto got like an award for like anime of the of the decade or something like that it was recent like and then we got the japanese olympics uh tokyo olympics going on right now when i say japanese well i mean japan tokyo but a lot of like people that are at the event are cosplaying anime characters. And like one shot, of the spokesmen dressed up as Jiraiya. But they, they named, opened up. They opened up with Bluebird, the second the second opening for uh, Naruto Shippuden. Um, I think it's that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they open up with that. I think it's I think it's that one. I'm gonna pull it up here in a minute. They named Vaporeon like the water ambassador. What? Which is cool. That's so cool. Like, you know, and, well, Goku was supposed to be the overall ambassador. You know, shout out to everyone that didn't know. Goku was supposed to be the, and the voice actor was going to, like, open up to the Olympics as Goku and, like, be Goku on the big screen and then welcome everyone to the Olympics was the original plan. I'm moving to Japan. <sighs> moving to Japan. Was the, um, was it the all original the cool concept. Stuff. That's that's what I'm saying. Can't live like this. I think it's this one. Let me see if it's this. Let me see if it's this opening right here. Come on, don't fail me. Don't give me a commercial either. Cut it off! Cut it off! Cut it off! <laughs> that's so cool that they did that though. Get copyright strike. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, I named it out. I do not own anything to it. There was, there was, I mean, there's. You know that actually doesn't protect you. What the what? Saying like saying and posting, I don't owe copyrights to this music. You, that that doesn't that doesn't. I help. think it, I think it gives you some some cushion. No, it gives you no cushion. Well, what do you want me to do? It's out there. It's public. It's YouTube. <laughs> it's the internet. I don't own shit to it. Do I look like the type of guy that would open up? They're like, I'm gonna play Bluebird for you guys, and like everybody. Like, ah, no, it's not what happens. Bro, not in YouTube standards. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, like, so we we came up over a year, and we we uh, two of our best episodes, man. One has <laughs> the uh, Digimon has two hundred and two views, which is a lot to us. You, you might hear two hundred and two and be like, D- "Damn, you guys are happy about that." You're damn right we are. Yeah. And the Digimon has like one hundred and ninety seven, like. Dude, we're bro. humble. So, that, 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 not getting on that. I was watching a video today. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go and ahead. the guy was talking about somebody else's channel. I'm not going to get into details on who, what, when, where, and why. But he clicks on her channel and was like, yeah, her her, and her page isn't even that big. 
yeah, like 157,000 subscribers. I mean, that's decent. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? Yeah. I'm becoming, <laughs> that, I'm becoming that another creator, man. Like, I don't, I don't get that. Like, there, There's people who are trying to legitimately start you, us. Mm -hmm. But you're saying that pretty much what you, you're, you're saying is once we finally hit we hope in months, but maybe years from now when we hit 157,000, we we're supposed to just look at it and be like, nah, that's nothing. That's it. Like, matter of fact, I'm still not going to say who, but I'm about to just go on his page just to see, like, I'm going to feel stupid if he has, like, a million. But, nah, I won't. But still, like, I mean, we're not, okay, so. Don't put, don't, don't put people down just because, so you know. I, I hate to be that person, but I'm not going to not hate to be that person. And we talked about it before. It's like, obviously, we're black creators. Like, dude, you have 117,000. She is 40,000 up on you, and you're going to call her channel decent? But I'm saying so also too is like where we're coming from. We're black creators, you know, and even though like we weren't the original founders, we were the ones of the YouTube channel and things like that. And like what we got coming up, dude. Like look at look at DC like look at RDC World. Look at King Vader, you know, like RDC World just met J. Cole and you know they LeBron. met LeBron and they won some dodgeball tournament and things like that, bro. It's just, it's just <laughs> Jasmine won that dodgeball tournament. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Shout out to the whole team, though. Yeah, bro. But yeah, but, yeah. like those those guys and then King Vader and everybody. You know, you got you got Anime House. You got um, you got uh, what uh, all those dudes. I would love to meet them and shout out to them again. Like we would they love to collab. Texas. Yeah, they, <laughs> we we'd love to collab and come on and get some ideas and just kind of just be a well, part of it. People like King Vader and uh. I think Caleb City does it. No, King Vader does. It. They they actually like put out castings. Like if you ever like want to be in one of like their videos, they if you follow them on like their social media and stuff, they actually call for. All right, guys, I'm gonna be back. <laughs> they well, actually I, call for people who wants to be in their videos. Dude, that, it would be super fun, and I think that's like initially the goal that we want. It's just kind of like to have fun with it. But like a lot of our guys in our group that are the found some of the founders. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Like a shout out to all of them. It's, it's hard for them to make it. Some of them don't live here. And, I mean, it kind of just started off goofy. But, I mean, like, you know, me and you want to take it to the next level. And eventually we might chip away and chip away and chip away. But if we ever made it to that, of course, you know, I would love to share it with them. But, um, you know, like, hey, like, just come on the show once. It's like, I can't. I got to watch the kid. Well, who told you to have kids, damn it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and no, for real though, like a lot of our group chats, pretty cool. Fuck about it, bring it. The kid. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> bring the kid. We got we got juice boxes, and a lot of our a lot of our group chats are really cool about it. And we caught we we honestly probably wouldn't have like the gusto to do it if we didn't have the backing. Even though all twelve of them, eighteen of them, I don't even know how many is in that chat now. But <laughs> like we we have such a diverse group if you think about it. Like, we, we definitely have some heavy One Piece fans in our group. We have a heavy One Piece fan in our oh, group. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. They're pretty heavy. And D. Gray, man. We, like, we, those, between those, those two animes, you bet not down talk you around gotta, You got to give them their credit, though. You got to give them their credit. I mean, One Piece, come on. I got a tattooed on me, bro. You're a One Piece fan. Come on. I don't have a tattooed on me. <laughs> well, you have New Orleans. That's close enough. <laughs> no, I love One Piece. One Piece is awesome. Orleans. Well, I mean, where do you think that's headed? Because I, I saw the speculation. I haven't it. read the last two chapters, but yeah. I know Zoro is about to showcase his, his not observation, his uh, Conqueror's Hockey. Oh, it's confirmed? So he does have the Conqueror's Hockey. Mm -hmm. All right, well, spoilers ahead, guys. I remember that was speculation before, but, like, it's confirmed. It is his Conqueror's Hockey. Mm -hmm. Well, Dag Nabbit, Matt, you missed out today. You didn't come on the show. <laughs> we needed you right now. Yep, I haven't read the last two chapters though, but yeah, so. I know exactly what you mean. Bro. I know where it left off at. They're just holding out until Luffy wakes back up to finish off Kaido, and I'm going to boldly say finish off Kaido because it's going to happen. It's, it's but what it, it's it's just everybody know Luffy is going to be Kaido. It's just the aftermath. What's about to happen after that? And I think the guy on TikTok, I can't remember his name. Um. But I kind of like his theory. Everybody's going to be laid out, tired, exhausted. Blackbeard's going to show up and somebody's devil fruit. He speculates Kaido. Uh, Blackbeard's going to take Kaido's power really? and so, finally so give him the death that he wanted. 
Oof. So Blackbeard sweep, uh, swoops in, steals another devil fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the theory of Blackbeard being a Cerberus is making a lot more sense. Yeah. Because mm. he has Yami Yami, he has Goro Goro. Now, if the Cerberus theory is true, after he takes a third devil fruit, then that's it. He's not going to ever get it anymore. But, wait. Uh, one of his people have two. Well, the knife. Remember the knife that absorbs yeah. uh, fruit's power. Well, that's speculation. No, 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 because, uh, 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 what's his face? Uh, down at Dressrosa, remember, he was going to stab Luffy and get the Gomu Gomu fruit. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. That knocking kidding. threw you off, didn't, too, yeah, did it? Yeah, I know. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, no, somebody's definitely knocking heavy. Somebody owes somebody money. Um... I mean, if you guys, if you're tuning in right now, bro, like, this is anime and beer. We drink beer. Get weird. When we talk about the latest manga, comics, anime, and you name it. And we're diving in. I mean, we, we're doing the podcast style today, guys. And I appreciate you, everyone, tuning in so far. Um, we're just kind of just taking it all in. What's going on in the comic book world, manga world, the movie world. I mean. Watch Space Jam. I, I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. And I'm not a LeBron fan. Are you I rapping now? It. Yeah. Are you rapping? <laughs> it's not even that, dude. Did you see, like, okay, so, like, my whole thing is, too, is, like, did you see the Chucky series trailer today? I did, and it's supposed to be a continuation. Yeah, and I laughed so hard at this trailer because Chucky is just so maniacal, but he's so funny. And I laughed so hard because he's sitting there in bed with the little girl, and he goes, hey. I'm going to go kill your sister. You want to come watch? <laughs> she goes, no, I'm tired. He goes, you snooze, you lose. Kid. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to watch that trailer. I don't oh, know watch it. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. That is typical Chucky Jeez. right there. <laughs> and like, there's the, the re- oh, That's a big topic, too, is they're rebooting everything. They're yeah. redoing everything, man. And... They're giving us closure. They're giving us reboots. I mean, geez, Louise, what else is what else is coming out or didn't already come out? I mean, um, we saw uh, we Escape saw Black- Room too. Yeah, well, me and you and and T the other day we saw the new Black Widow. Black Widow was good. It was well deserved. Honestly, people were were like, dude, she's should, bae. What's it, that girl's it, it, name? Should. She is bae. She was in Midsummer. I don't people care. People were dude. like, yeah, we should have already got Black Widow. I feel like Black Widow came out. When it was supposed to. Yeah, okay, here's my speculation too, though. Okay, it's Hollywood. Everyone wants money. And I think they offered Scarlett Johansson that in the beginning when nobody thought her role was going to take off the way it is. She's a beautiful woman, don't get me wrong. She has a huge following. And she's a badass. But also, too, after those couple Iron Mans and that first Avengers movie, I'm pretty sure they went up to Scarlett a few times, kind of like Black Widow. Black Widow solo film? Do you want to do it? 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 And then she waited until all of everything was done. And she got all that money from all those Avengers movies. And her following went skyrocketed. And then next thing you know, they were like, do you still want to do the Black Widow movie? Like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Which is a great marketing poll from fucking Marvel. Because remember when Endgame came out? And after it came out, they let out, like, the box collection set. Mm -hmm. And they were like, the complete MCU DVD Blu-ray collection. And then next thing you know, it was like, Black Widow came out. But the time frame of Black Widow, (laughs) it's not the complete box set without Black Widow. Marketing! Done in its finest, I'm telling you. Which probably ticked people with OCD off. Like, this is my entire Avenger set. Well, what's that? Fucking Black Widow. Yeah, like it, it should be. It should be between here and here, but it won't fit in the oh, collector's box. Oh <laughs> my god, dude! Like, no, it was definitely smart on their part because, I mean, it was a good movie. I mean, I highly recommend if you're if you're obviously a Marvel fan, go check it out. Uh, definitely way better for personally, in my opinion. Um, the independent female role was definitely a lot better with that movie. And her chemistry, Scarlett Johansson's chemistry with, God, what is that actress's name? 
Who's gonna be like the dark black widow? I forget her. I forget her name. I don't. I don't. I don't know. But well, like, we're setting gonna, up for she, the Dark Avengers. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. I will pick that up in a minute. I apologize. You dropped a Wolfie. I, I. I know. I'm horrible. Um, it's Wolfie. So, uh, yeah, dude, like that movie. Let me see. Cast of Black. I don't heard name in the movie was Yelena. Or something I think like that. I, I know <laughs> that. Florence Pugh or Pug or Pug. Um, Pew. Pew. Well, mm-hmm. she was in that movie Midsummer that everybody like. Oh, she's younger than me. She kind of. Uh, she is bae. Um She's from Oxford, United Kingdom. Born on January 3rd, 1996. Age 25 years old. Google is creepy. Like, <laughs> I just needed to know her name. You're giving me her whole backstory. Um, shout out to Marvel. Um, so. Dude, she was she was really really good. Um, I enjoyed her chemistry with with Scarlett Johansson. I, it was definitely very sibling like, and I could relate to that a lot. It's very very good. One thing I didn't like about the movie, there was definitely like not even misplaced because everything made sense. It was just uh, uh, some of that dialogue I didn't want. Like between Red Guardian and the sister, I'm like. I don't care. <laughs> they, wanted, they wanted to shove the whole family thing in there. Shout out to uh, Vin Diesel family. Um, they wanted to shove that whole... You, you could see how they were marketing it. They wanted it to be like a, a humbling experience. But it's Black Widow, dude. Well, I mean, before we got the Black Widow movie, you, you will always think that Black Widow just was just a loner. And this movie kind of showed that it wasn't... She wasn't. Like, she, she had... She came Family. from something. She yeah. came from something. She had a good origin story, which I think was a good... And maybe her team, maybe she thought about it. Maybe, hell, maybe the MCU thought about it. It was like, no, we're not doing this Black Widow movie until way later on. Oh, they butchered Taskmaster. Oh, oh that was oh, so bad. The Taskmaster got so much... Like, I, I, did, I didn't you know. Told you that. I didn't know. Again, shout out to Alexander. Because uh, he brought it to my attention. When he asked me, like, what do you think about Taskmaster? And I'm like... You wouldn't ask me that unless it was for a reason. Exactly. And so, well, we talked about Taskmaster, but the way he asked me, like, me and you were just talking about the movie, but he specifically asked me, and I'm like, before I answer that, let me look at Taskmaster. What did I say to you while we were watching the movie, though? What did I say to you while we were watching the movie? Because I said that is not original Taskmaster. That is true. I I, I did did. say that. I did say that. So I had to look it up and find out Taskmaster 1 was a guy, which I did look deep into the origin, mm-hmm. at no point was Taskmaster ever a woman, even in variants and mm-hmm. alternate universe. He was always a guy. Which they had to sacrifice um, something, though, with that movie. They had to sacrifice something with it, though. But the thing is, it, it and I'm not saying gender swaps are bad, but because of what Taskmaster done as far... I'm a big comic buff. I'm a you-have-to-read-the-comics guy, yeah, yeah, obviously. Facts, facts. Right. What Taskmaster's been through and what he's offered, even, uh, I mean, sometimes he was a good guy, sometimes he was a bad guy, but what Taskmaster offered, you're going to throw people off with the storyline that you gave him. Like, he was the daughter of the guy who controlled the Red Room. Like, that was never Taskmaster's backstory. He was a kid with, what was it, photo, photo muscle memory, something yeah, memory? Yeah, he, he had a high of all form of, like, photographic memory. Uh, and, and and it was very rare. So it was it was, it was something like yeah, it was something to do with yeah. that. I do so, remember that. I do remember that. And then he went on to open up like, underground schools for villains and stuff. He even like, I think he trained. Now nah, he didn't train, but he also worked with like su- some superheroes. So it was kind of like comic book buffs. They see that, and you give them. Oh, Taskmaster was just some girl that was the daughter of uh, of of this guy. Hold on, my man Taz did too much. For, he did too much. He did too much for the comic lore to be. They they, they massacred my boy. Dude, Google, <laughs> you know? Google's right here. Imitation game. The man who who would become the Taskmaster is born. Project is seven of monomic talents in the Bronx, a borough of New York City, to an unidentified mother. He discovers his unusual abilities in childhood when, after watching a cowboy television program, he finds he can duplicate the actor's road tricks. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the guy... The, the, I, I don't really care about it. Like, Taskmaster 
definitely could have been used a lot more. And he, he plays a huge role, I think, in Spider-Man as well. Um, I mean, there's a lot of Marvel characters, but let's be honest, the MCU is going to botch a lot of things. We're not, I mean, we still got She-Hulk coming. That's coming to Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. But I do like how they use Loki to introduce the AVP. AV, AVP? TVA. TVA. Why do I think AVP? That's Alien vs. Predator? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's also, <laughs> that's also in Jiu-Jitsu. AP is the thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, TVA. When we talked about Mobius and how he, like, how his origin came to be. Him and, uh, Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston's, like, screen chemistry is so funny. They are awkward brothers. And I they love are. it. I love they it. are. They are. I love it, dude. It I haven't so even funny. watched the last episode. I actually need to watch that. Yeah, um, dude. Well, we're not spoiling it. I'm not getting sued by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but my, my whole thing is, is, like, when, when you're going to watch these movies, especially, you know, we, we're, we're, we're comic and manga uh, buffs. You know, there is an origin story to these characters. Mm -hmm. And when we see them on the big screen, you know, we want them at their fullest potential. Of course, that's not always the case. If we got 100% Peter Parker, 100% Tony Stark, 100% um, Steve Rogers, dude, we're going to be there all day. We are going to be in those theaters all day. All flipping dead. But see, the difference between the, the the, but what I like that we're getting is the personality. You're getting the personality right. Yes. But when you're yes. just when you're just full one eighty, like wait, well, wait a bit, wait. Which, I don't remember when did this happen. Like which, what? Which which you know, hey bro, you got to give it up to Wesley Snipes, bro. He was Blade. And now that we're getting the new blade, I'm nervous. I don't know about I'm you. Nervous. I'm nervous. I trust. I'm nervous. I, I trust in the actor. I'm I trust nervous. him. You know, he played Cottonmouth. He his, his resume. I don't know everything he played in, mainly because you know, the, I'm already almost a glass in. But you know, his resume speaks for itself. His name is complicated to say, so I'm not it's even trying to pronounce resume, it. Resume, but I'm like, dude, Frost was the original origin story of Blade. So like, what, what, what? Which they did what, get right, yeah. They got right. So, like, what are you gonna do? What? How are you gonna do it? What's going on? How are we gonna go about this? Like I said, the way I will like Blade introduced is through Spider Man. And well, the, the Morbius movie is coming out, which ties in. The We're going to get Blade. What well, Spider Man is already there. What's We're getting Blade. We're getting Morbius. They're gonna meet. In the middle, they're, they're they Blade and Morpheus are going to meet in the middle they somewhere along the Spider-Man line, somewhere in the. It's probably universe. going to happen as soon as the uh, Venom Spider-Man crossover movie we've all wanted. Um, Absolute Carnage, the video game. Absolute Carnage, the movie. Come on, we 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 need Tom Holland. Man, in there. I've been reading Venom, and I finally finished like the two hundredth, the anniversary, the thick, the big boy. Finished reading that man and. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just re I might how do you spoil feel? it. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? Just, just, just give us how you feel. Don't spoil it. How do you feel? Well, nobody's going to read it. So I'm not going to spoil no, it. It don't matter. Just how do you feel about it? Good, like, how do you feel about Venom it? Venom is like top five for me now. Okay. That's all. That's, all right. You heard it. Top five. Venom Who's is the other four? Oh, of, uh, like just overall figure? Overall. Or we're just overall. talking Marvel? Overall. Marvel. Just Marvel? Just Marvel. If he's five, who's four, three, two, one? Go. Well, Captain America is number one. Absolutely. Uh, Gambit. Solid choice. Solid choice. Wolverine. Hmm. He's three. He's three. Okay. All right. Just, just the whole animanium thing. It's it just, okay. okay. It's just you. freaking I badass. You. I got you. I got you. And then number four. What's my number four? Um, I don't know. Number four is, is just tied with a lot of things. Give it. Give me two. Give me two right now. Two for the four slot. Two for the four slot. Oh no 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 no. Two for the four Colossus. Slot. Okay. And Col Colossus was number one. Uh, and then like it, it switches between like Nightcrawler. Uh, get, oh, get out of here! You chose Colossus over Nightcrawler. I like Colossus. Get out of here, bro. You want my You, you want have my, to read his comments, man. You want my five? You have to read his comments. You have to read his comments. 
You want my five? Colossus is badass. All right, I'm gonna give you my Colossus five. Colossus badass. You are just a trash. Don't, 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 don't sleep on Colossus, Dude, man. you're a trash. No, no, you're because here. people watch. Have you ever noticed when I watch the X Men movies, I always get mad. When I watch Deadpool, I always got mad because they never did Colossus oh, justice. Colossus God. is a freaking beast. I know he is. Colossus is. I'm not gonna say he's on par with Juggernaut, but he's he, there. He can manage <laughs> yeah. Juggernaut. Fun fact: Juggernaut is not a mutant. Um, he yeah, has like a ruby that he found. Yeah, that gives him the power. Oh, he's yeah. also Professor Xavier's brother. And get out of here, really, Colossus. Okay, I can respect him being on the list. But come on, bro. Dude, Colossus beast, man. Come on, bro. Come on. You can turn your whole body into like an alloy and just and get wrecked. wrecked. Well, and the, get like wrecked. I said, the movie you're basing and it off the movies. I no, know you I've are. seen him in the video games. I've seen him That's in the video the comics. Games. I've seen him in the That's animations. the newer comics. Oh, yeah. Wow. You gotta read the old Colossus stuff. Colossus is not that OP. When him and Wolverine when... standing right next to him, no, he's not that OP. Dude, he can throw Wolverine. What are you talking about? Wolverine's 5'3". I can throw Wolverine. But, yeah, it, Wolverine's still heavy. He's like freaking four or 500 pounds with all that metal on him. Man, I can still toss him. Yo, It'll man. hurt. Yo, It'll man. hurt. <laughs> It'll hurt, but I'll toss him. I might throw him two feet, but I'll toss him. In, 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 in interviews, in, in the first X-Men, when Jean Grey lifts his hand and like Shut rubs up. it, she said his hand felt like it was like 50 pounds. She, she was straining. That's why they didn't show her face. She looked like this holding it. You know what? You're pissing me off right now. Anyway, my five Marvel characters. Colossus is a beast. Col- I'm not saying he's not a beast, but there's he's way a better people. He's a beast. So, so, so are you knocking my opinion? Are you saying my opinion? I think Colossus doesn't is deserve it, is it, is it, that is it, top it, spot for four. I think Colossus so, does so, not. So are you knocking my opinion? Can I give my five? Can no, I give no, my no. Five? I just want to know are you knocking my, my opinion? Can I give my five? Yeah, tell me your opinion so I can my. tell you how wrong you are. Oh, my opinion is I don't believe he should deserve that number four spot. That's all I'm saying. This is why I'm alienating myself. Oh, my god! This is ridiculous. Did you not hear the roster you just named and that you put him there? Because he... Okay, is. number five. Number five mm-hmm. for me. Go ahead, Tim. Magneto. Yeah, mic drop. Okay, number four. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, what's number four? Nightcrawler. <laughs> number three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna hear this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Iceman. Hmm. Hmm. Number two. Oh, I'm, about yes, get, I'm, about, I'm about to get in your two, ass now. Yeah, number what's number two? What's number two? two? I'm about to rip him. Number two. I'm about to rip him. Number two. I'm about to rip him. Yes, it's cheesy. Well, what is it? Oh, yes, oh, it's cheesy. cliche. What, what is it? Yes, what everybody is it? loves what him. It? What is it? Spider-Man. And number one, mm-hmm. Black Panther. Come on. Solid lineup there. Solid lineup. Solid lineup right there. That is a solid lineup. Can whip my ass in Marvel vs. Capcom with him. You know what? You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Solid lineup. Get out of here. Get out of here. Solid. Solid. Get out of here. Solid. Solid lineup, bro. And you're going to sit here and tell me Magneto's whole war on mutant versus humanity before Apocalypse got there isn't good? Like, come on, man. Magneto runs a whole freaking country of Krakoa. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're not put some respect on Magneto, my guy. I never took respect away from the man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're over here, Gambit, Colossus. Get out of here, Look, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not going off of like I'm 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 going off of powers, but I like to relate the heroes that Captain America, underdog, you know. The guy, me, the guy, I don't relate to those characters. Guy, no, that's what I'm saying. You, you relate oh, to those characters. See, like, I, 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 sure let's, see let's, let's, let's analyze my list. Captain America. Go ahead, go ahead, you know, go ahead, go ahead. It, you know, everybody sleeps on him because all he has is a shield. But one on one, you won't you won't whoop his ass. I mean, Punisher did, Black Panther did. But we're not going over that. So I'm too gambit. But he's got morals. Cap's got morals. Cor- he, have- he never mm-hmm. had ill intent when he fought. Gambit. Hope- gambit. Go ahead. Louisiana. One, I, know he got, I know he got a crawfish recipe you need to go ahead and share. He is from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love hearing his accent like mm-hmm. in the cartoons and stuff. Mm-hmm. One, anybody that whoops ass with a bow staff. That part. 
<laughs> Dude, his powers, it just, it, his powers, he's just freaking cool. Like, who walks around with a deck of cards and you just looking at this man like... He did have some swagger. Like, hey man, like, what we about to do, play goldfish? And he just energizes him and just throws him in and freaking Solid blows dude. up. Solid dude. Solid dude, for sure. Yeah, I mean... I'll give you Gambit. I'll give you Gambit. Wolverine. Wolverine. It's Wolverine. I'm not arguing. It's Wolverine. I'm not arguing. Yet. Coloss- okay. Coloss- you see? I'm going to finish your okay. list, and I'm going to come back to Wolverine. Colossus, Colossus was just cool. When I first saw Colossus, it was kind of like, wow, oh, this, dude, this is a guy that just figure. freaking just turns metal and just wrecks stuff. So, nothing really. I think he's like Canadian. No, he's not Canadian. He's German. Yeah, German. He's German. He, like, he's German. He's like, got beef with Magneto. Yeah, he has a sister too that they never like shown in the movies. I don't. I don't think she's. I don't think she had any powers though, right? She was like human or something. Mm, or she, she had powers. I just don't remember what they were. I can't remember either. Um, and then of course Venom, and that's because mm. honestly, Venom who was Venom. Ready? Venom is simply because of Tell what's him. happened. Tell him. Just Venom. Give him, just give him a. Just give him a hint. Just like stick. Just like breathe on the bottle. Just go. Like, there you go. Polish it. Tell them what happened. Just tell them how badass Venom should be in the MCU. Let's put it this way. Tell him. He is the king in black. If you don't know what that is, kids, Google it. Google no, it. I'm going to tease you. I'm going to tease you. Ooh, spicy. I'm going to tell you what happened, but you, 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 you're going to have to read it to know how it happened. Then tell him. This man took Thor's hammer... Mm-hmm. And Silver Surfer's board mm-hmm. and created. Pause. A- <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> if you want to find out more, yeah, read the King in Black. Se- don't right. read the tie-ins. Uh, King in Black is a six, five issue series. J- just read the five issues. Don't read the tie-ins. Mm-hmm. Man, I tell you what though is. What was it going about? Have you seen the? Uh, because, you know, we, we, we talk about it, and, like, we talked about kind of backtracking, you know, being being black creators on our YouTube channel, and just kind of being pioneers. Have you seen the the talks about making Wolverine indigenous? Making him Native American to the land? Because technically he is half Native American. Apparently from geographically and what would go on at that time when he uh, found out who he was. Because his father was the groundskeeper who worked on the land, who was kind of a slave, who was indigenous to the land already. There's like a whole theory about it. And making a Native American or Native or Indigenous Wolverine, I mean... At this point, I think it I, I'm at the point now where I'm not even opposed to ideas. I'm not it's mad just at casting. It. Don't just go get the first indigenous person you see. Get somebody that makes sense. Exactly, exactly. And I feel like that too is like, because it's like the same thing with Miles Morales. Mm -hmm. Miles Morales is Puerto Rican and black. His dad's black, his mom is Puerto Rican, but his mother even seemed dark complexed. But there has been drawings of Miles Morales like with my complexion and then your complexion. And, you know, we're both considered black still, but... You know, and then in the video game, they made him a full-on, you know, darker than both of us. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to staple it the right way, you know? like it, Exactly. You know, and there's nothing wrong with mixed races. But if you're going to go ahead and do it right and make them seem like they're indigenous or a part of the community, you know, do it right. I think Wolverine definitely deserves a makeover. Don't get me wrong, Hugh Jackman. I love you. I love your Australian ass. But... Let's try something different. You know what? What do we got to lose? You know, we can always go back, call you up, have you on the stake, and well, did diet. you see the? Uh, there was a picture shown mm-hmm. with Hugh Jackman and I forgot the guy who's been doing like all the Marvel stuff. Mm-hmm. So there might be a Hugh Jackman return. I did see that. Apparently. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is getting a return. Uh, I a thought it was just a voiceover. It, but he's going to be the new AI in Ironheart. That'd be cool. But apparently he's going to film a couple scenes being the CGI AI, like, coming up on the screen, like, well, you know, like, that's that's going to be uh, Robert Downey Jr. now. He does, You know, he wants to spend more time with his kids. So shout out to Robert Downey Jr. for making our childhood really cool. Because, I mean, what, Iron Man came out when we were in high school, and that was really the groundbreaking to the MCU. Yeah. It was a great movie. 
I still go back and watch Iron Man 1, man. That was awesome. It was. Awesome. Um, I, and you know what? Uh, originally, you know, shout out to Robert again and shout out to my little brother, uh, Blaze, actually, because they were diehard Iron Man fans. And I always thought Iron Man was just so cheesy. I just thought he was some bullshit Batman who just had a way cooler suit and more money, which is true. But Robert Downey Jr., man, you, you made me respect Iron Man a lot more, for sure. Tony mm-hmm. Stark definitely deserves. I definitely never watched the Iron Man cartoon. Like no, my first there were a few. There were a like, few. There were a few for sure. There like were, I, I would watch like the Avengers stuff, but like. Iron Man had his like own show. I never watched it. I mean, yeah, I do. I put on my Iron Man skin every time I play Fortnite. I got people that vouch for me. <laughs> you know, people that vouch for me. Um, I mean, dude, that's that's the whole thing about this. This is what we're talking about here, guys. Is like, you got two guys, multiple people, guys and girls, who are nerds, who just love this stuff, and we get together and we get to talk about it. I mean, we came upon a year. We just passed the year. When, when, when did we do all that? When was the Digimon video? You know, when did, when, when, did, when did we film all this? I mean, we're coming up over a year, man. The Digimon episode? Yeah, the Digimon episode. Pull it up real quick. What, 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 how, what, how? Digimon episode was a year ago. A year ago, exactly? Like, coming up on July? Uh, uh, I put it up in May 15th. So we're coming up two mo- a year and two months of anime and beer, man. We've come a long way. Bro. But we did a video before that. Yeah, but still, though. We're coming up on a year and two months. Let's, let, let's go with that. Anime and beer just got a little over a year old. And we're doing this. I think it's long overdue. Cause I think our first anime and beer podcast was like The Voice, which I put on a SoundCloud. It has been a minute since I've been on SoundCloud. <laughs> but we can put this one on SoundCloud. Hell, we can put all of them on SoundCloud, man. Let us know what you guys want us to do. You're driving down the road. You want to hear some nerd stuff? Like, let us know. But if anything, like just looking at the, uh, just looking at upload dates, we've been pretty consistent. I mean, there are days, months we only upload it once, but it still, happens. it happens. You know, it this happens. one year ago, one year ago, down. yeah. 11 months ago, 10, 9, 8, 7 months ago. So we've been going down the line, you know. Uh, Actually, I forgot about our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's 117 views. That was a good one. That was a good one. Real good one. Uh, I think we honestly got that from going back and buying those comics, to be honest with you. The last Ronin comics... And also, yeah. I don't think people really thought... I think we got a lot of 80s fans on that one because I don't think people really understood how much we respect them. Which that series isn't even done. I think there's two, there's two more. more. Remember, we got to find out what's happening with Donnie in the next chapter. Yeah. Because um, we just found... The last one, we found out what happened to... Uh, Casey and Leo. Yeah. Dude. God, I don't want to spoil too much, man. I just want to like, say... I kind of want to go back and like buy the uh, Omnibus and... Uh, uh-huh. In the uh, what's the other one called? Not the um, the um, the best. Um, pretty much where it's just all the whole collection of Ninja Turtles. Like you can just get them in volumes. Kind of want to get those and read them. Ninja Turtles was definitely like awesome, dude. There's so much stuff we gotta read. There's so much stuff we gotta do. To the Mars coming, but dude, my stags are coming back from being graded. Oh snap! So hopefully I get them tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. They're not nine eights. He did tell me he was like they're not nine eights, but you're still over nine, like nine point. So I'm I'm thinking they're probably like nine fours or nine sixes. Nine two minimum. Not two minimum. Dude, that's awesome. Though. They even still like nine four still go for like two hundred bucks. I but I say, but I have both variants. I was about to say. So that's like you, if you want to get a house one day, there you go. <laughs> I, only got, I only got them like for a dollar. A piece, so Dang, man. I'll tell you what I want to read too. I, I want to read the RG uh, RG's um, Sonic Hedgehog series. I know Coastal has a few of them. He doesn't have a lot of them. I know he has a couple of them. I mean, I guess closing out on our kind of our anniversary of anime and beer, man. 
Might as well say it's the anniversary. Yeah. yeah, might as well, dude. I mean, this is stuff we need to keep up on. This this the stuff we need to keep up on, man. We we've been at it a year, and I'm super excited about it. I mean, we get up, we got a consistency going, we got to keep it up. Yeah. Um, all else fails, you know. I give all copyrights to you. No, uh, <laughs> but um, no, man. I mean, we've been at it. Let's keep chipping away at it. Let's see what happens. Let's have some fun with it. I think that's what it's all about. You know, we get together, we nerd out. Of course, we'd like more people to come on the show. Let us know what you want us to talk about next. We got some mangas that's waiting on us. We got some comics waiting on us. Tomorrow's some, comic book day, so... We got some beer waiting on I, us. I used to make videos from comic books, but just watching other content creators... The, the best way to do it is the best way that doesn't really suit me. Like, they read them first, and then review them... I'm not about to sit here and read 10 comics back to back to back to back to you back. You say that now. And be able to he says that now. recite okay, them. Guys. So that's why I've been on Instagram. You know, you see our, <laughs> you see our tags in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Sure, Just go ahead sure, and give us sure. a follow. But uh, yeah, my Instagram is normally where I post my uh, comic book reviews and pictures of what I'm reading. Yeah, man. Let us know what you guys want to hear. I mean, let us know what you guys think. Uh, don't be scared to speak out. We talk about opinions. We're, we're definitely down for open ideas, opinions, constructive criticism. I mean, we're only human. And uh, we've been at it over just a year. And yeah, maybe we don't have 10 million subscribers. But I think we love what we do. I'm happy and humble for what we do have because it, it's definitely showing progression. I remember we were sitting on 10, then 20, then 30. At one point, we were at 70, and then I made a post saying we would like to reach 100, 100. then boom, we hit like 105. Like, exactly. Now we're at like 169 the last time I if checked. We, so. I mean, shoot, dude. Let's try to aim for 200. I mean, we're, we're only 40 away. Exactly. I mean. Or 39 away. Excuse me. I, I can't do math. But you get what I'm saying, guys. Um. We appreciate everybody who's tuned in this far, and we appreciate all the love and support. Everybody's been affected by COVID, we get that, but we also appreciate you guys tuning in and giving us your love, uh, your dedication to our channel. Shout out to all of our homies. Even though I know you guys are doing different things, uh, we still appreciate you, everything you do. Love to have you on the show eventually. And... Uh, Hopefully, we'll drop some new content here soon. But this is just a podcast episode, just giving you up to date, and we're just talking and rambling for an hour. Anime and beer. Where we talk about the latest manga, comics, anime. You name it. Thanks for diving in with us, guys. Until next time.